whenever I'm leading a climb, I always have a first aid kit and a rescue kit available at the base of the tree. So the first aid kit is just most important thing in there is band-aids in case people get blisters. Um, I also have a pair of scissors in case I need to cut somebody's hair. Uh, if the knot gets, or if their hair gets stuck in a knot, they're blunt tipped scissors. And in this rescue kit, I have um, a CPR mask. And then I have two straps that are used for different types of double rope technique rescue. So these two straps are just used for different types of rescue scenarios. They're just lashing straps that have a cam buckle on them. You can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart or Tractor Supply. You want to get the ones that are at least 12 feet long. And um, I'm going to show how these are used in a couple different rescue scenarios. So one of the straps just has two carabiners on. That one is basically used for pulling somebody close to you if you're going to um, bring them down um, and you're going to come down the uh, together from the canopy. This other one uh, is has a carabiner and then a, a simple uh, pulley on it. The pulley would be used to go above the person's Blake's hitch so that you can then pull them uh, down either from the ground or with you if you're coming if you're descending together. Uh, and as you come down then the Blake's hitch the pulley will pull down on their Blake's hitch and bring them down as well. The extra webbing is kept uh, tidy by these velcro straps and normally you don't have to undo them in order to pull out uh, more slack you just pull like this and it just comes right out and these velcro straps are sewn onto the end of the uh, strap itself So to reset this, you just double the strap back up on itself like this. That way you only have to pull out as much as you need and it stays, uh, doesn't get tangled up in your rescue kit. All right, in this scenario, we are going to do what's what I call a tandem rescue. It's where you come down with the person. And so in this case, this climber is unable to come down and not responding to uh, verbal prompts from below to help them to get down. And so um, you have to go up and do an aerial rescue. Now the um, rope that I'm going to use is this other white one here. And so that means I'm going to have to, if I'm going to do a tandem rescue, one of the challenges of that uh, of a tandem rescue is that you have to be able to come down in the same path as as them so I have to climb up above one two three limbs and then lower myself down to her and again if this was a uh, health emergency kind of situation you would call 911 or have someone call 911 before you begin the rescue that way rescuers can be on their way A tandem rescue works really well if there aren't branches in between you and the person who needs to be rescued. Now that I'm above these branches that are in the way, I need to pull up my rope and toss it onto the same side where the rescuee is.
Okay. Now as I get to the rescuee, I'm going to first use the uh, double-headed carabiner or the double-headed strap to attach our bridges together. All right, so one carabiner attaches to their bridge, the other attaches to your bridge, and then you can pull on this cam to bring you close together. Now if for some reason you had reason to suspect a spinal injury, you might need to Put your arm, put your legs or arms around the person so that they are not, uh, so that you're immobilizing them. The next step is going to be to put the pulley above their Blake hitch. With the pulley above their Blake hitch, you can let out some of this extra slack in the strap, and then attach that to your bridge somewhere, take up any slack, and now as you descend, the person's going to remain close to you because your, your bridges are connected, and as you pull down on your leg hitch, your whole system is going to come down and that's going to pull down on their leg hitch as well. And again, it's a good idea to loosen the foot loop so that there's not extra friction on the uh, on the uh, Blake pitch. And then you can have somebody, if you have extra people down below, they can belay one or both people, but it's not required. And so as I pull down, then it brings the rescuee down as well. To make a set of these rescue straps requires uh, two 14 foot long lashing straps with these cam buckles on them. You can buy these at most hardware stores. They are light duty, but they're not going to be holding, they're not life support, so they don't have to be super strong. And you'll also want some Velcro for tying up the extra lashing strap. These particular ones are 15 inches long. You could probably do with 8 inches long as well. And then each of these rescue straps is going to have two carabiners on it. And then one of them, in addition to those two carabiners, will have uh, a rescue or a pulley uh, on it as well. So I'm going to show you how, show you the process of making these rescue straps. To make the rescue strap, you just take the, the end with the cam buckle on it, double it over, and you're going to make a loop in it by tying a simple overhand knot. and you want the loop to be as small as possible and as close to the cam buckle as possible. It's really simple to do this. Then you're going to feed the other end of the strap through the end of the cam buckle. Now one carabiner is going to go into the loop that you made and the other end of the and the other carabiner is just going to go on the loop there. That way, so if this was the carab, this is if this is the rescue strap that's going to connect the two um, climbers together, the rescuer and the rescuee. One's going to attach to the climber's uh, harness. The other's going to attach to my harness, and then I can make it different sizes by pulling that cam buckle in and out. Um, if it were the one that's going to be pulling down on the Blake hitch, then you would just attach a pulley onto that second carabiner and then make this as long as it needs to be. One end, the pulley is going to go over the person's Blake hitch, the rescuee's Blake hitch. The other one's going to attach to your harness and you can take up the slack, of course, by using the cam buckle and then that will uh, bring pull down on the Blake's hitch when the person is when the person is being brought down.
The extra webbing is held in place by these uh, Velcro straps. If you need more uh, slack, just pull it out here. And these Velcro straps are sewn onto the last couple inches of the uh, webbing. So I just sewed back and forth a few times so they don't fall off.